Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shegmo Baji. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for receiving God's word on this platform. You're about to receive God's word again and your life will never remain the same again. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Today we are looking at the importance of depending on God's word, living by the word of God. We were made to live by God's word. That's the design of God for us. When God made us, he made us in his image, according to Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. He made us in his image and after his likeness. So he made us to live by his word. Because God and his word are one. So he made us in the likeness of God's word. To see by the light of God's word. For this is the true light that lightens every man that cometh into this world. The light of God's word is the true light. And that is the light that enlightens our minds and our spirits to see things the way God sees them, to live life the way God designed for life to be lived. And you see, God's word is our life. Our life depends on the word of God. In fact, the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4, it says, Man who was made in the image of God after his likeness shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. He tells us that God made man the image of God to live according to God's word. You know, this is the principle of success in life. If you want to succeed in life, learn the word, receive it into your spirit, and live by it. All right? You do that, just that, and you will succeed. Your success will be so huge and people will see that indeed you are succeeding. The Bible says, meditate upon these things. And then it says, give yourself wholly unto them, that thy profiting may appear unto all. So your profiting will appear unto all. People will see that, oh, that guy is making progress. That lady is making progress. Why? Because you are living according to God's word. Listen, beloved, if you've been born by God's word, and you're in Christ Jesus, there's no other way to live your life other than to live by faith. That's living according to God's word. For the just shall live by faith. So we live by what God's word says to us. And as we do that again and again, success is made manifest through us. That means we exemplify and showcase the success that God has made um, us in Christ Jesus. So it is important for you to live by the word of God. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Jesus, the master, told us in John 16, I mean John 6 and verse 63, he says, it's the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you, he says, they are spirit and they are life. So that means the Word of God is our life, is our quickening ability, our revitalizing ability. And that's how we live. Beloved, live by the Word today. Make up your mind to live by God's Word and lean on God's grace to work it out in you. By the grace of God, I will live according to God's Word. And that should be your commitment. Amen. David said, I will meditate upon thy statute. I will meditate upon thy precepts. I will meditate upon thy word. He made up his mind to meditate on God's word. He says, I will do your commandment. That means he made up his mind to live according to God's word. So as you make up your mind to live according to God's word, I tell you, you will succeed big and your success will be evident to all. Praise God. Our life depends on God's word. We live by the word of God. I believe you've been blessed today until I come your way again tomorrow. Keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you. Amen.